the one thing that I, I sort of... I don't know how many of you use the train all the time, but it is uh, such an infuriating service, uh, and so infuriating, that if you go to any station, they have signs up telling you that they don't accept abuse of the staff, of physical or verbal or whatever. They are offering a service that is so shit, they have to remind you not to kill members of their staff. <laughs> that, <that's... laughs> Here's another tip, you know, if you're going to be head of the railways, don't dress up as a fat controller. <laughs> <laughs> OK, that leads us to Ramesh. Let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is parenting. <laughs> I'm a parent. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we had our first child, and uh, our first child is such a lovely kid. You know, he always says please and thank you. Such a wonderful, wonderful little boy. I said to my wife, do you know what? I think we might have mastered parenting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just about setting clear boundaries and being consistent. <laughs> <laughs> the second one, feral. Right. <laughs> like, I love him, but what a prick this kid is. Like... <laughs> I love him, but what an unacceptable human being. Like, I love him, but I don't like him. You know, that's... <laughs> like, I'm going to have to say to him one day, you're a mistake. And not, like, in the way that the contraception went wrong. Like, the decision to have you was a mistake. <laughs> Sometimes I want him to get hurt. There you go, I said it, I said it, I said it. Now, listen. I don't mean really hurt. I don't mean really hurt, I just mean a little bit. You know, because he doesn't listen, this kid. <laughs> when I say to him, don't do that, dude, because if you do that, you're going to get hurt. And then he does it, and he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> that pisses me off, right? Because that is life telling him that I'm full of shit. This kid's running with scissors with no consequences. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> my, my mum uh, had a house in Sri Lanka, and... That she had one of those toilets that just goes straight, the, the poops go straight into the ground, and that she had mango trees behind the toilet. The mangoes were absolutely enormous. I've never seen, they were much bigger behind the toilet than they were anywhere else in that whole bit. But my mum didn't allow us to eat them because she said they're poor mangoes. <laughs> like, no, we weren't. <laughs> okay, here we go. The first subject is unlikely greeting cards. At this difficult time, I'm thinking of you wearing suspenders and a mask. <laughs> It's a girl, not a woman, which is why you're going to prison. <laughs> 21 years, and this time you'll probably die in prison. <laughs> the next topic is things you wouldn't hear on a science documentary. He named the star after himself, and now we find ourselves looking at Arthur Cockmonster III. <laughs> Scientists in Loughborough have found the formula to make the perfect cup of tea, which is quite controversial, as the grant was for AIDS research. <laughs> I would just like to say that I think Dara O'Brien's a legend. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of the show. This week's winners are Roma Trangan Aiken, Hugh Dennis and Mark Chuck.